Yo, what's up, guys? Your boy TFG and back for another reaction, guys. This one's gonna be another top 10 list by Watch Mojo, and this one's gonna be top 10 surprisingly overpowered anime characters. So yeah, this one's an interesting one, guys, and uh, and this one I've seen like the comments it was a bit like 50/50. Some people are saying this and that, so yeah, I thought why not react to it? It'd be interesting. So guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe as that really helped me out. And without further ado, let's go. You know what they say about judging and books, right? Goku, be careful! That girl's the one who said Vegeta flies through the wall! Whoa, really? That was you? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks okay. for the top 10 surprising. I can already see why people are, characters. yeah. Before we begin, content. we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Oh yeah, guys! Don't forget to put your post notifications on. That are unassuming on the surface, only to then be revealed as insanely strong. So I'm an Prepare for some spoilers. I never knew that even existed. That's how stupid Sword Art Online is now, guys. Number ten, right. Len. Sword Art Online alternative, Gun Gale Online. Don't know what this is about. She comes up to everyone's hip. And she's the only gunslinger around whose choice of wardrobe consists of every shade of bright pink imaginable. Okay. However, you'd be a fool to underestimate her, as Len's exceptional speed and itchy trigger finger have led her to wipe out numerous professionals across the virtual game. So it's just another gun girl in line. I've never heard a person say they've seen this one. I swear. She's conquered all manner of treacherous terrains and even she, outmaneuvered she look, she combat professionals, though. all while retaining her signature cuteness. All you battle royale players had better be wary. Damn, these headphones are nice. Number nine, Tony Tony Chopper. One Piece. Overpowered? You wouldn't expect really? a talking reindeer to be a pirate crew's resident doctor, let alone a powerhouse. So it was pretty shocking to see that this devil fruit user mm, had yeah. access to a whole variety of forms outside of his cuddly default. I wouldn't call him overpowered though. I would not call him overpowered though, really. He can bulk up into a towering muscle man, turn himself into a karate expert, as well as yeah, unleash but... the monster okay, within, maybe for his becoming devil fruit, a you beast say that, that but... beat the seven bells out of any CP9 yeah, lackey. Not... Not his whole character, though. Oh, yeah, he kill... need to kill... Did he kill him or not? I don't know. Remember, folks, Fluffy doesn't equal harmless. Yeah. Number eight, Sebas, Overlord. I've heard of this anime, never watched it. By guys. now, it would be safe to assume that every anime butler is not. essentially a living weapon. <laughs> Even by those standards, you'd be hard pressed to find one that's more OP than this servant of Ein's Ulgone. When a lady friend of his gets kidnapped, Sebus was all too happy to demonstrate that just because he cleaned up after the other floor guardians, it didn't mean he was a pushover. Damn. Whoa. That smashed it. With nothing Damn, more than a few head. bouts of fisticuffs, yeah, he, he managed to remove the heads of a feared criminal organization's deadliest Sorry for members. This guy, this is really what the hell? What? Hey, yo, this guy's savage. Talk about served. Number Why seven. Punch the heads off. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Pride. Oh. The homunculi are well known for their uh, monstrous forms and killer fighting ability. I don't know about this one, but that old man though, what the though, hell? Who could have guessed that, that the anime actually looks really good. Would be, but a child. You ask my name. It's Pride, and I was the first homunculus. With the entire country acting okay, as I could a flash, the was first homunculus was a yeah. being capable of conjuring solid shadows that could yeah, easily yeah, yeah, slice yeah. apart he, he was, and devour any pain, careless yeah. mortals. Hell, he was even willing to kill his own brood to suit his purposes. He ate the one that usually eats. He's a dedicated son, one who is more than happy to send legions of alchemists to their doom in the name of Father. 
His power there, he has a really Number six, power. Kuso Psyche, the disastrous life of Psyche K. Blessed or kissed if you ask oh, this him with on incredible Netflix. psychic I don't think powers, anymore, but this I've pink hair teenager has Looks enough power to manipulate the minds of the entire planet with just a yeah, bolt. In fact, he has, multiple times. While he tries his best to live a boring life, Psyche often finds himself having to use his near-infinite abilities to save his loved ones from harm or just to get himself out of an annoying situation. Oh my god. Humanity doesn't know how lucky they are because it wouldn't take much Yeah, this guy definitely overpowered like straight up. I haven't even watched this anime. He said I've got a teeny bit of power. Number 5, Toma Kamijo, a certain oh, magical certain index. index. While he may take the crown for unlucky a bit of this, character but in all of anime, at least Tama can rest easy now he never has to worry about any high level espers getting the jump on him. Why? Because he can cancel their yeah, abilities cancel their in an attack. instant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe it's coincidence or just plain bad luck. Either way. This really isn't your night. As such, not even the yeah, mass murdering that. accelerator or Misaka the railgun can hold a candle to him. Heck, it even allowed him the chance to sock yeah. an evil nun right in the face. Yeah, that's what you call a punch, boy. We'd say losing all good fortune in the process is a small price to pay. Let's see who's the stronger one now! Number 4, oh, yeah, Mob. So, Mob Psycho 100. Right now, you must be thinking, this anime, how could such a precious peach yeah, like this really even good. be considered overpowered? <laughs> well, as long as you keep his emotional gauge as close to zero as possible, then he's as harmless as can be. However, if it manages oh, okay. to reach a hundred, then prepare to have your mind blown. <laughs> Oh That's the my most powerful God. Esper to ever exist. When Mob lets loose, he doesn't just annihilate his foes, Damn. he turns everything into a psychedelic fever dream. Push him too far and he'll likely take an entire what? city apart. <laughs> Whoa, this guy. His wife's called Mob Psycho, I don't know. Oh. Thankfully, his sweet boy personality tends to stop him from destroying mankind. Number three, Arale Norimaki, Doctor Slow yeah, in the this Dragon one Ball bit... series. We can only imagine that Doctor Jiro is bashing his head against a I don't wall remember. down oh, in she Robot was in the Hell. Original Dragon Ball. After I all, forgot. if he had only employed this android to wipe out Goku and friends, then he would have had nothing to worry about. <laughs> She was strong for that time, but... That's right, this guest character from Akira Toriyama's previous wig has enough power to split the planet in half with a punch. Yep, that's right, I'm a robot! What? You're kidding me! Well, that, isn't, this, isn't this a filler? Yeah. <laughs> that's not a joke. She actually did that. What? Oh, and she managed to make short work of Vegeta. <laughs> Oh my god. In short, if you see this adorable machine, run for the hills, because her vision of playtime often leads to widespread destruction. Damn, she, she played with Vegeta. Number two, Zeno. Oh Dragon yeah. Dragon Ball Super. Oh yeah. These destroyers are bad. Most we need definitely. new ones. <laughs> Just kidding. The Dragon Ball franchise Bro, has given us no shortage of characters How is he not number one? How is he not number one? Destroying whole worlds with a snap of their fingers. Yeah, number but one? there's only one that can erase entire universes, and that would be this weird little popsicle. Yeah, literally is this that's it. Oh, 
Who's one, Standing then? atop the, the pedestal hell? as the strongest entity in existence, the Omni King is as powerful as he is childish, one happily willing to set up a tournament between all 12 universes wherein the loser would be removed from time and space just for shits and gigs. Yeah, really, yeah. Squish. Best to stay on his good side. Oh, no. no. Gone. Bye bye. He literally erased him. Number one, Escanor. The ah. Seven Deadly Sins. You can do a yeah, I put him on the list, but I don't know about number one. Todos. Number one, really? I didn't watch all Meliodas of might pack this. a hell of a punch, and Ban what, might be one smooth one? criminal, but yeah, neither of them really have really managed to match the poison, shock and yeah. awe we felt during the reveal of the lion's sin of pride. <laughs> yeah, <it's> just... yeah. <laughs> He's like, While you're laughing, appearing I'm to be nothing more enough. than a meager man with an admittedly impressive moustache, Escanor soon yeah. proved doubters otherwise when he unleashed his true form. When, he, One when I saw him when he was like small, I literally thought to then go nothing and of him like the I thought he was going to be this strong. Like, you know when you have them hints, but no hint with him. Manly doesn't even begin to cover it. <laughs> That's like some yeah. little son. Do you agree with all? Yeah, guys. So that was a great list. Uh, some of them, I was a bit shocked. Like I would, well, personally for me, I would put Zeno as number one, because he's more surprising than actually. Because Zeno was okay. I understand why they put him as number one, because they never, we literally never knew nothing about this guy. Because then we did have a little background about him, like, yo, he's he's a destroyer. I can't understand that. Okay, so I understand why they put number one Eskino and number two Zeno. I can't understand. But some of the like the characters on the list were I didn't knew I didn't know some of them, but yeah, I could agree with most of them. But I could see why people also would disagree. But yeah, it was an interesting list, guys. And uh, yeah, guys, that wraps up this video. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And there's gonna be more reactions coming up. Peace.